pipe blower. The Accentis cost efficient traffic generator and analyzer. Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how to use stacked VLANs, also called Q&Q. Since the latest GUI release, version 2.3, the VLAN view functionality has been extended to allow stacking of multiple VLANs. Let me show you how to use this. At the left side you can create VLAN stack items. Let's create a new one. Then, at the right side, you can add as many VLANs to the stack as you like. You can change the VLAN identifier, the priority code point field and the drop eligible flag if you want. Of course, you can also rearrange the stack by dragging VLANs up or down. At the bottom, you can see some help displaying how the resulting frame will look. Also, you can switch the sorting direction to put the outer VLAN at the bottom or at the top. This is just to suit what's more logical to you, so this has no effect on the resulting frames. VLAN stacks can be used by Byblower ports, V4 and V6. Let's use the stack we just created in a simple back-to-back -back test setup. In this setup, both the source and the destination port need to get the same VLAN stack, but you can also send traffic between different VLAN stacks. Now, let's run the back-to-back -back test scenario. While the scenario is running, you can already see that the destination port is receiving all traffic over the stacked VLANs. And in the report, you now get a nice overview of the VLAN stack used by each pipe port. Also, the TX and RX overhead introduced by using VLANs is displayed in bytes between parentheses. We hope that you will enjoy using stacked VLANs with pipe blower. Thank you for watching.